Yeah, let's let's look at like let's just run a few examples and let's see what what how do you actually would normally run like a real stuff in the queue. So yeah. Uh, do you so, want to start, Richard, or should well, I? Well, maybe you can. You have the array job first prepared, I yeah. believe. Yeah. So so this is like a freshly minted this morning uh, an array job example of an actual use case of one of our users. So there's there's one of our users wants to use this uh, deep learning uh, framework that basically does this kind of a feature extraction of uh, musical genres, genres, and and you can like uh, identify different genres based on their well features such as probably rhythm and and what kind of instruments they are. And I don't know how it works actually, but uh, like it it basically uh, it's a machine learning or deep learning model that uh, that based on this highly uh, advanced uh, AI models, you can do this feature extraction. And we help this uh, or are trying to help this user to get this working on the system. And uh, today I finally figured out how. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay. so I, I will <laughs> so present the, <laughs> the really solution real to example. you. Okay. Yeah, right. it's a real example. I will post this into yeah. the issue. So if the user is watching, then mm -hmm. you will have the solution soon. Okay. Uh, so I haven't had time to do it yet, so, but I'll, I'll yeah. share the screen. Okay. So did you already oh. mention what array jobs are? Not yet. So, so okay. uh, well, basically what this, uh, uh, well, what I guess this I can, program. I can mention it while you're getting ready since yeah. you're the typer now. So, so, so oft yeah. Yeah, go right yeah. ahead. So oftentimes when you need to run things, you don't take one program and run it with more processors, but you run many copies of the same program. And this is the simplest and thus best. Well, maybe people would argue with that, but a very good way of scaling up to more work because, well, it's simple. So that's what we've that's what we're using here. So Simo is going to find a way to run the code, and um, he's opening the batch script. Let's yeah. See. Yeah, just, okay, here, uh, okay, here we go. Yeah, we'll clear it, yeah. up, clear it up a bit. So here he's defined what the cluster will run. So would you like to walk us through what the different things mean? Yes. So and so this model. Maybe, okay. Yeah. yeah. So this is a script file which will tell the cluster what it needs to run. So it connects to the Slurm queuing system. So we submit this, and the cluster reads this, and then does the instructions, and then leaves the results where it's configured. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So, so basically, typically these kind of, of scripts have like uh, two or two parts, or maybe three parts in this case, it would, because it's an array job. So the first part at the top here is uh, are there instructions for the queue system? So, so here we have different resource things that we want for this job. So in this case, we want to do this feature extraction for multiple different uh, genres at the same time. So we use this array job to do it. Uh, so we, what we want for this job is to, to run it for 30 minutes uh, with 30 gigabytes of memory, uh, produce a, uh, an output file. Uh, we, we run it on a GPU. And then we run it with this array of 10, 10 times at the same time. So we run all of these different 10 options at the same time, maybe in the different nodes, maybe in the same node. So we will go through the array job in detail later on. But basically, we, you can think of it like, like we had the pasta analogy yesterday. Like we had 10 pots of pasta. But here we basically have the mm -hmm. situation where we want to, we want to cook 10 uh, different pasta pastas mm -hmm. or 10 different musical yeah. genres we want mm -hmm. to feature do the feature extraction for all of these different genres so uh, we can do it parallel we can do every genre in and of itself uh, in a different uh, different machine or different system or wherever uh, we can do it separately and the, the the array job makes it really easy to do this kind of a kind of a thing at the end we actually have what the program is running. So this is running singularity container. So it's a bit complicated. We yesterday mentioned these containers. 
this is the kind of application that actually benefits from these containers because that's what the original authors had provided. Uh, you don't really have to know the details here. The main thing is that there's something here at the end and uh, as there's some variable uh, that mm. that defines what okay. data we are using as an our input. And the data is yeah. determined, uh, well, it's basically like when, when we give this script to the queue, the, uh, the queue will uh, queue will sp split it up into uh, multiple chops, and each chop gets their own flavor of pasta, mm -hmm. and each of them cooks their own flavor of pasta. Yeah. So how does it actually? How do you actually run it? Well, you give it to the queue using this sbatch command. So you give this script to the to the queue, and the queue will do it. We will do this in more detail today uh, mm -hmm. with simpler examples but but for now we just type this s batch and then we run this run e extract so now we have <clears throat> this batch job there uh, running we submitted a job and we can use this slurm queue to see how is it what's it doing in the queue so currently it's it's pending we can also add this watch here so that we can watch the queue. So let's wait for a second. So once the jobs uh, get going. So now they're queuing. So they're not actually running anywhere yet. But now they are like basically, now I can just take my hands off the keyboard and I know that they will be done eventually. Mm -hmm. So now one of them is running uh, over there in one of the nodes. So you will see mm -hmm. that it's running on this DGX yeah. node, this GPU node that we have. So if we look under job ID, it says like zero, and then there's one to nine in the pending state mm. on the first line. Yeah. And if we look at, if we close this view and look at like what we have these uh, mm. files here, we can look at the uh, features that we get. Uh, well, there's currently not yet any but we can, it will start producing these outputs here uh, once it has run enough. And now we have multiple of these jobs already running. So basically now we're cooking uh, nine pots of pasta at the same time, uh, basically. So we have, a, we have plenty of stuff going at the same time. Uh, uh, so, so this kind of a workflow where you want to like do multiple things at the same time, you want but they can be separated. It can be done easily with this array job. Uh, I think this uh, this yeah. might be a good ending point for this demo. But okay. this like this is just a demo. Like normally, this would take. Uh, you could run this. Basically, uh, the one thing I could uh, emphasize is that this requires twelve gigabytes of memory from the GPU to run. Mm -hmm. So you don't have that kind of a GPU. It costs like. You can buy that kind of a GPU, but it costs you like 5,000 euros uh, if you are lucky to get one. But, but basically, you cannot get this kind of a resource anywhere uh, besides HPC clusters. So you need, need to use the HPC cluster to run it. And then it will take, usually, it can take hours to run this all of these uh, feature extractions. But if you use this kind of an array job, you can get it done faster you can get it done in in half an hour all of the different pots of pasta yeah okay okay great so now let's go whoa that's a nice effect whoa <laughs>